What is up you guys, my name is Apprentice and welcome back to another video today. We're going to do another flare tutorial. You guys seem to really enjoy the last one, so we're going to do another one today again today. If you guys could smash the like button, show your support, that would be absolutely fantastic. If we could hit 150 likes, that would be amazing. Anyway, today we're going to do a wee bit more of an advanced one. We're just going to do one move, but it's absolutely one of my all-time favourites and it looks really good when you pull it off. And that is the palm stand. So basically, nice and easy, in a juggler's grips so if you're going to start juggling up. Um, you're going to throw the bottle up and you're going to cushion your knees as it comes down. You're going to be catching it on your palm like you've seen me do in other videos like that. Um, so that's the way you're going to catch it. So you're going to throw it and then catch it on your palm like that. So, really nice and easy. You've not got to be afraid to let it hit your hand. It does hurt a wee bit, but it's not excruciating pain. It's just like a wee tap, like somebody tapping you. So when you throw it up, catch it. There's a few ways to get out of it. You can throw it that way and pour like that. So suppose you're throwing it that way, um, like I did the first time. You can throw it backwards like that. Or one of my favourites is you're throwing it up, you're catching it like so, you're spinning it, and then when you're from here, you're gonna throw it like we did last week. So I usually like to drop it like that, throw it, and then pouring away. Looks really nice, nice and slick. If not, then when you're just here, you can just blow that. It looks just as good. Now, flare bottle's done. I'm gonna move on to the, the empty glass bottle now to show it's exactly the same. It does hurt a wee bit more than the, than the flare bottle. Obviously it's plastic, this is glass. Um, and this does have a bit of a rivet in it, whereas the, uh, the flare bottles are usually quite flat. They do have a wee slight divot, but not as much as this. So it takes a bit of, in fact, Fits obviously a wee bit better on your knuckles, so again, throwing it up, catching it like so, nice and easy. Now, okay, so now we're moving on to the one with liquid in it. Now, there's one major difference to this bottle than last week. Now, a lot of people were saying that it looks really good when you flip it, but you can't do it when there's a speed pour with a bottle of liquid in it. I'm here to prove that wrong, because that's what I like to do. We're gonna throw it up and catch it as normal on top. I'm not gonna spin it around to pour it, because obviously I got nothing to pour it into but that's exactly what you do. Liquid in it, liquid doesn't go anywhere or anything. As long as you make sure there's only about maybe four shots, no more than four shots left in the bottle, it works perfectly fine. Same with this, chrome pours, and I'm just gonna prove the point from last week. You can flip it up and then catch it, nothing actually comes out. Obviously, centrifugal force, as I explained, keeps the liquid spinning around in the bottle, so it keeps it at the bottom. So you could do this all day long. Um, it's only when I stop spinning, the liquid actually settle. Um, prove a point when I go like that, just, to, just so you guys can see. There we go. Anyway folks, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. One tip that I would give you guys is just practice, practice, practice. Get a flare ball, or you can do it with a plastic ball, but the weight aren't quite right. The thing about flare bottles is they're weighted as if they're glass, so you guys can get a feel for, for the glass, and you can still put liquid in these as well, um, just to get a good feel for it. Obviously if you don't have a flare ball, you know, glass bottles gonna have to do, but you're gonna have to do it over carpet or grass or anything. With a flare bottle, you can literally practice it anywhere. I just used to practice and practice and practice, so now I can almost look away from the bottle and just spin it and just know where it's gonna be to catch it. That's what you wanna get. So you can just throw it and not look where you happen to put your hand. If you have enjoyed today's episode, however, make sure you smash the like button if you're much and greatly appreciate it. If you wanna see more flaring tutorials, let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to go check me out on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to them will be in the description. Other than that, guys, so until next time, I've been the Prentai, and I'll see you all soon.